guys today we are going to create a dependent drop down so this is the form where we have a two drop down one is country drop down and one is a city drop down and whenever we choose country and on the basis of that country the city drop down list will be updated so let's see what we are going to use today's video so first of all we are going to see how we can create a collection in drapcord then we will also see how to establish a parent child relationship between two collections then we will see how to add a reference of one collection into one another collection and then we will see how to create event and finally we will create a filter i am already logged in in my account i am just going to create a project name as dependent drop down so my project has been created i am just skipping and going to builder to start our designing so this is our builder so let us close this tutorial video by default we have a two page 404 and home page i am going to create some collection in our project so there will be three collection so right now i am going to create our first collection name as address so now my collection has been created so let add some field in here i'm the first field i'm adding is a text field and the name will be a line 1 second field is also a text field and the name will be a line 2 finally i'm going to add a third field which we are uh, last text and the name will be a details our first collection has been created successfully now it's time to add another collection and the name will be a country this country field will have a one field name as a name and type will be a text i'm going to add one more collection that will be our city collection and this city collection will have a two field right now first will be the name type of text and another field will be a zip code which will also be a type of text so now our second field has been created successfully so finally we are going to add a child and parent relationship between country and city collection so first of all i am going to add a field as a reference field of a city in our country collection field name is a city name and the reference is from a city collection and for the displaying the record we are going to choose a name field from the city collection itself since country will have a mul multiple city so just check it multiple select option and save it now it's time to add a reverse relation in our city collection as well for that i'm going to create a field of uh, type child of and the name will be a country name from collection drop down let's choose country it will be the name which we have given in our country collection for referring this city collection and similarly we are going to choose name field to display a record save the this field now we are done with our relation child and parent relationship between city and country collection this city collection will have three field and this country collection will have two field so now it's time to add country and city collection in our address collection as a reference field for that i am going to name it as a country and the reference collection will be a country and the name which we are going to display will be a name similarly let's add another reference of city in our address collection name is the field which we want to display in our address this address collection have now five field line 1 line 2 details and to reference of country and city i am going to quickly add some record in our city and country collection
so finally we have five record in our city collection three for india country and two for us country you can also verify here united state has two city and india has a three city it's time to add a collection form in our home page so let's just open home page in our builder let's just drop a collection form component from our component list and in our trade in our settings i'm just going to bind at this collection right now i'm going to leave all the other option as it is we will do it later now it's time to create one event in our project i'm going to create an event with the name of dependent drop down of country and city let's just hit create button finally it's time to add some action in our event right now i'm going to choose collection and this collection will have a uh, option of create dependent drop down so this is the form of for creating a dependent drop down i know it's quite lengthy so let's break it down first we have to choose the collection which, which we want to save that will be an address next option is to se select the page where we have our collection form when we choose that page it will show the list of all collection form on from that page right now we have one collection form so just list choose it on change element name just choose country and value to change element name just choose city this second collection option that is a uh, change value collection we have to choose city because we want to get the list of all the city from next option we will choose id because we want to compare the country id to get the list of all city related to that country it's done now just save it and let's just open our home page in our builder now in address collection form go to the country drop down list and open the setting and choose the event which we just created and save it finally we have to get the record of city on the basis of the country drop down okay so to do so we have to create we have to create a filter in our city collection so let's just create create a filter open collection setting and go to filter and give a name city by country id from selector let's choose find all matching data i'm going to add one condition in this filter we have to compare country name with the value which we will get from ui okay so to do so i am writing this condition to choose country field and whose value should equals to id okay but when we select id in the value we are seeing three record two of them is the id of the country which we already have added and another option is external since we will get the record of the country id from the ui so we have to choose external now it's time to add external param key on basis of which we will identify the uh, comparing value so here we have to use uuid because in our event we have choose id to compare just hit create filter button now it's time to open our home page again in our address collection form open the setting of city and choose the filter from the list of filter which we just created yes we are done just save the page now click on the preview icon and see how it goes here you can see we have the collection form and right now city drop down do not have any record but country drop down has two record india and united state we choose country item from drop down city list should be updated but it's not working because the filter which we have created is by default private so let's just create another filter with the same condition but 
this time it will be a public i am just fast forwarding it after creating this filter i am going to open home page again i will rebind the new created event with our city drop down let's just save it and check the demo again here you can see whenever we select india then we are able to see mumbai new delhi and noida and whenever we select united states we are able to see ohio and washington city i hope this is clear to you thanks